<sighs> you know, it's just a car. But at the same time, it's also my first car. I'm here saying my sort of last goodbye to Luxon, my beloved 2002 Saab 95 Aero. And you probably also recognize Phoenix, the car that rose from the ashes. So three weeks ago, as I was driving Luxon here in Linköping in Sweden, the oil light came on. So apparently the engine had lost its oil pressure and I had to take it on a flatbed to the garage. This garage that happens to be the local Saab specialist took a look at the car and did some basic checks such as checking the oil pressure switch and also the oil pressure relief valve but found no immediate issues. So it became obvious that there's something wrong in the internals of this engine. Now we have to give a big thanks to all of you viewers and all of those who helped me around the forums. I got a ton of well needed encouragement and also some good suggestions on what to look at. The problem is we can't find anything obvious. Short history, this car is a 2002. It's gone 265,000 kilometers until now February 2017. The pistons were changed to T5 internals, new piston rings, and also the sump was dropped and checked in 2014. Then in 2015 we did all the timing chains and balance chains, including the sprockets and the guides and everything. And now this happens. I don't believe, and the Saab Specialist Garage does not believe either, that the problem is in the oil sump or in the oil strainer or anything simple like that. But the fact remains there is simply no oil pressure. I made a short clip of the engine sound before towing it to the garage, and as you can hear, the engine sounds good. Another car has been standing here for three weeks, as you probably can tell from the slightly rusty brake rotors. By the time you're seeing this, Luxon has been sold to a new owner, and I'm happy to say it's a Saab enthusiast who lives not very far from me, who intends to repair the engine. And trust me, I'm just as curious as you to know what the problem actually was. Luxon, being my first car, has taught me almost everything I know about working on cars. And it's also the reason why the Trionic 7 YouTube channel exists and why I can make these videos. We bought the car in June 2014. It had then gone 175,000 kilometers. And now it's been 90,000 kilometers since. That means nine oil changes in two and a half years and a lot of maintenance and preventative work has been done. And while it's just a car, the first car of any car enthusiast always holds a special place in your heart, right? And for the longest time I wanted to make this tour of Luxon and put it up on YouTube, but I never really felt it was done. It was always something to fix and I wanted to show off the car on its best side. So I never got it done and here we are and it's uh, broken. I waited too long. I'm sad to say that the final video of Luxon is made in such a dirty state, but what can you do? This is what winter highways do to Swedish cars. I'm happy I don't have to say rest in peace Luxon. Instead, I can wish the new owner a happy flight in this car that was born from jets. It's an awesome car to drive, has lots of power and also has a big trunk space for when you really need it. And in the future, I hope to be able to update you viewers on what the new owner finds with this car. He's gonna pull the engine and see what's inside. But for now, you have been watching Trionic 7 and my sad farewell of my first car, the 2002 Saab 95 Aero, you all know as Luxon. Be sure to check out our channel and I will see you in the next Saab video. Bye bye.